And today we are looking at the health benefits of tamarillos. Well, some people call them tamarillos, and other people uh, decide to call them uh, tree tomatoes. Oh yeah, this is basically how it looks like. Uh, this is a very ripe one, and this is also a very ripe one. This is ish ish. It's not really, but it can be eaten. Yeah, it is very very edible. Make sure you wash your fruits always. I love to wash my fruits with some uh, vinegar because you know how people out there use a lot of insecticides on these fruits. So vinegar, also the bicarbonate, is something that you want to use every time before you eat your fruit. This is how it looks like inside. Yay, yummy. Looks yummy. Now let's get straight into the health benefits of having yourself a tree tomato every day. Well, it works as anti an antioxidant. Now, oxidative stress and free radicals are the main causes of diseases. Uh, the tamarillo, yeah, some, of, some people call it tamarillo, some people call it the tree tomato, has photonutrients that offer anti antioxidant activities and lowers the chances of degenerative diseases such as cancer, cataracts, uh, Parkinson disease, heart disease, diabetes, and all that. It's also very rich in vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin A, and other photonutrients. Now, I want to tell you that it's also very rich in vitamin B complex. So when you eat it, you're literally getting all the nutrients that are in B, B1, B2, all those things. Uh, it's also very good for your eye health. Tomatoes are known for its benefit to improve vision and eye health, making you maintain a very good vision. It has vitamin A that will help you see more clearly. It's also good for your heart health. It prevents kidney stones. It prevents cancer. It's good for your skin health. It's helpful for diabetes. Scientific studies show that uh, tamarillo is beneficial for diabetic people. Tamarillo has a chlorogenic acid, which helps lower blood pressure in type 2 diabetes. Moreover, and, and, and at dioxide as well, activities help to lower, to lower oxidative stress on body organs such as the liver and the pancreas that could result into diabetes. And the traditional uses for this fruit are for sour throat. You can warm the leaves and wrap it around your neck. You can also cook the pulp in embers and use it as a poultice for inflamed tonsils. Yeah, cook the pulp and then just do that. Now for all your natural remedies, just subscribe and also touch the bell. You don't want to miss out on anything that I do upload. Yes, you can get fine with the fruits that we use or that we have in our kitchens and fridges and from the farm. Anything that is eaten raw or eaten as a fruit or a vegetable is surely doing something good to your health. Bye-bye.